All right, um, everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Bucky Raw, and um, I'm here to encourage the youth. I'm here to encourage my fellow artist, Chris Stahl, in his drug addiction and everything he's going through. Um, I know we've seen Chris Stahl to his last, and he's down. You know, his body, his facial expressions and everything. You know what I mean? That's someone that's hurting from within. And we all have to be good citizens of Liberia, Mama Liberia, to uplift Christoph, our artist that's going through something. Because at the end of the day, you look at it, kids, older folks, you dance to his music. You know what I'm saying? He made you feel good at one point in your life, you know? And I don't want Christoph's situation to just die out like that. I want him to get help, you know, because me, I lost my mother in 2012, and I also turned to um, codeine, sir. And I was doing codeine. If it wasn't for my family and my friends and people around me that I love, I don't know where I would be at right now. So I'm taking a step and coming to everybody now to talk about the drug addiction that's going on in Liberia, our country. It's not so much with Kristoff. It's about the youth that's in the country that's looking up to Kristoff and they see the way things is going. It's real bad. And everybody out there, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know tomorrow. You don't know what can happen to you tomorrow. Me, myself, I never knew I would be in Liberia going through things that I'm going through. You feel me? But with me being strong as a man and holding myself accountable for my mistakes that I made in my life, it made me get through all the situations that I'm going through now. So I say that to say to Chris, bro, you gotta get yourself together, man. I know losing a mother is something hard. You feel me? And a lot of people don't know about when you lose your mother and how it feels. Someone that gave birth to you, someone that breastfed you, someone that nurtured you. Fix your clothes, press your clothes, make sure you go to school. Wipe the snot from your nose and everything from day one. A lady that was there for you, a lady that could never betray you because you came from her. You know what I mean? And that's the problem Chris is going through, and he turned to drugs. And Chris, whatever happened between me and you, I'm sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for no clout or anything like that. As far as the help that you need, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to help in any way, shape, or form that you need me to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking to the youth in Liberia. Drug addiction is not something good. Say no to drugs at the end of the day because... The youth coming up now, we are the ones that can help transition a lot of things in this country. A lot of hardships, a lot of poverty. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of wrongdoings that was placed upon our people. We can change that, you feel me? But my fellow artist, Christoph, he going through this situation now, it makes me feel bad. And I know every artist out there feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you cannot go a day and you're looking up and down your Instagram, your, your, your Facebook, and you see your fellow artists going through something and it make you feel good, not at all. You feel me? Me, I have a heart, you understand me? And Chris going through the same situations I went through as far as losing a mother, you feel me? Like, he's lonely. I know how I feel. You feel lonely when it happens and you turn to certain things that's not good for you. You know what I'm saying? And you take these things in, but a lot of people can, people can come around, people can be around them. You feel me? But when everybody is gone, at the end of the day, when you in your room in the night and you laying on the bed, you know what I'm saying? You still got that loneliness in you because the woman that was there by your side, the lady that can call you and check up on you every day to make sure you call her or anything like that, she's not around. You feel me? And that's what a lot of people is missing on. You feel me? I just want my brother to get the help that he need. You know what I'm saying? I want Chris to go into rehab. I need him to get back on his square. You feel me? Like, forget about the blogs. Forget about the librarian people talking whatever they have to talk. At the end of the day, bro, we are men. And we can get through any situation that is. If you need me, I'm here, bro. You feel me? Like, I lost my mother too. You know what I'm saying? And I went through a lot of hardships. But... If you need me, I'm here. Forget all the drama, the beef, or whatever it is. At the end of the day, it's lights, camera, action. Once the lights, cameras, and action goes off, 
and you're living your life, people don't know what you really go through. You understand me? And it's stress, it's depression. And that's what our brother Chris is going through. So I want everybody, y'all stop the mean comments. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stop bringing them down. It don't matter how many times I bring people help Chris. You feel me? It don't matter. Don't wait until it's too late for us to say, oh damn, you know, we should have did this, we should have did that, or everybody packing up to go to the man funeral. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's a legend, he's a legend. Nah, that's not cool at the end of the day. Let's make a change now. Let's make a change for the youth that's in Liberia that's going through drug addiction everywhere in the slums. You understand what I'm saying? Because it could get worse. You feel me? And I'm speaking out to every politician. I'm speaking out to the government. You feel me? Y'all need to take a stand and make things different in the country with the youth. You know what I'm saying? A lot of youth they out there, they sleeping on the beach. They sleeping in different, different places and a lot of different things is going on and they turn to drugs. Why? Because they don't have nobody to help them. And it's not their fault. You have to understand too, we've been through 14 years of civil war. And a lot of these kids are child soldiers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these kids been stripped from their childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't know nothing else but war. You feel what I'm saying? And they're going through a lot of commotions in within their family. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids out there don't know their real mom or their real dad because they lost their mom and dad through the war. So they go through the drug addictions. You feel me? And I'm saying this to my brother Christoph because Christoph, he's an influencer. You know what I'm saying? He influenced a lot of kids. You feel me? Me and Christoph, our issues that happened before is nothing. Me and Chris was good before. You know what I'm saying? And the same way I received him when we came to Philadelphia is the same way I feel now. You feel me? Because I see him going through a lot of things and I want things to change. You know what I'm saying? I'm not happy about seeing Christoph on Facebook and he looking like, you know what I'm saying? He looking crazy. It's looking bad. You feel me? So everybody, please stop with the jokes. You know what I'm saying? Let's all come together as a community, as Liberians. You know what I'm saying? For Mama Liberia, you feel me? At the end of the day, to make things happen. You know what I'm saying? Because change only starts with us. You know what I mean? I don't care about what happened before, you know what I'm saying, in this country. But the youth that's coming up now, it's all about us and for us to make a change. If we don't make a change, nothing is going to stop. We're still going to have the same poverty. We're still going to have the same hardships in this country. You feel me? So, Chris, as a brother, I'm speaking on to you. Like, I love you. I don't have no problems with you. I want everything to be okay with you. You understand me? And um, to every artist out there, hold hands. Let's pray for Chris and make sure he get through his hardships. You feel me? I don't want it to be too late to speak on anything. And to be honest with you, this video is it's not about clout. It's not about anything. So please, everybody erase that out of your mind. We're looking at a, a young man that's going through hardships. You know what I mean? Don't let it get too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love Liberia. I love Monrovia. And I want the youth to weigh in. I want the youth to stop the drug addiction that's going on in our country. Say no to drugs and everybody live their best lives. You feel me? At the end of the day, we cannot destroy our country. We want to help our country and build our country. We cannot destroy our country. And to the politicians, the government, the mayor, everybody that's out there, I need everybody to take a stand and make this thing possible for the youth. Because if you're not fighting for us, we're not going anywhere in our lives at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It takes a village to raise a child. And you guys, y'all cannot fail us. You know what I'm saying? Everything y'all do, it reflect on us and how we gonna lead the country tomorrow when you guys are not here because everybody not gonna live for long. You know what I'm saying? So, Chris, I'm sorry for whatever you're going through. I'm sorry for the loss of your mother. I'm sorry for your hardships or anything like that. And me and you never sat down and had a talk before, but if you need me, I'm here. I'm willing to talk to you and whatever and things like that. Forget the lights, cameras, forget the music. You know what I'm saying? Because life is real. Past all these blogs and all this music and, and things like that. We don't want to lose a dear brother, a friend, a son, or whatever it is. So 
I'm saying this to tell everybody, say no to drugs, to the youth in Liberia, and strive for better. And to all the government, the politicians, and things like that, you guys have to step up. You know what I mean? Because right now, we look at our artists that's going through something real hard. And I haven't seen anybody that's, that's, that's higher up in this country speak up about it. You feel me? You guys are supposed to lead us. You guys are supposed to show us the way. And I'm not seeing that. You feel me? So please, take upon yourself to make a change in the country. Thank you very much. It's Bucky Raw and Chris. I love you like a brother, my man. If you need to talk to me, I'm here. God bless everybody.